Hello YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Excel learning series with Sayyid. In this episode, I will discuss how to calculate difference in time in the same day and on different dates. Let us take a close look. Before you begin, make sure that you have a copy of this worksheet. You can download it using the link in the video description. There are three worksheets in this workbook. See it, do it same day times and do it different day times. I will demonstrate in the see it worksheet. You can practice in do it same day times and do it different day times worksheets after you watch this video. So let us begin. We have a set of start times and end times. These are the start and end times from the same day. So we should not have a problem to calculate the time spent. Similarly, we also have another set where we have start and end time but with different dates. You can see I have 7 a.m. on 2nd of Jan to 3rd of Jan 9.20 p.m. This set carries a different format that is it is shown in 24 hours time format whereas this one can be seen as AM and PM format. This is just to give you a hang of it. Alright, let's begin. In order to get the total time spent, I will remove the start time from the end time since the end time is a larger value compared to the start time. So what I would do is I'll simply press equal to on my keyboard while I have this cell selected under time spent and then I will select the greater value first minus the smaller value that is the start time and then I press enter on my keyboard. I have the time spent but it is showing me the value in a AM or PM kind of format and I don't need that. I need proper number of hours instead of having PM tailed with that one. So what I would do is I will press Control 1 on my keyboard to bring in the format cells window. Under this dialog I can simply select time from the category column and here under type I will select 1330. That is the number of hours. I can now see I have 18 hours 40 minutes spent on that day. If I drag this down I have other values properly calculated in a similar format. Now this is how we calculate the difference of times between any given time of the same day. Now let us take a look at calculation of times if we have more than one day. So we have this data set that is showing us start date and time and end date and time with different days. So what I would do is I will remove the smaller one from the larger one. So end date is a larger one. Start date is a smaller one. Remember that. So I will press equal to on my keyboard. Select end date minus start date. And then I press enter on my keyboard. I get the time spent but in a different format. I don't need this. I, I need a friendly format. Like how many hours and minutes have been spent. So I will press control 1 on my keyboard to bring in the format cells dialog. Under this one I will select time and here I will select 3730. Please note if you do not see this this type of format in your format cells dialog try to change the locale from whatever you are look you know having to English United States because that one has 3730 as one of the time formats. Since this one is also showing me 55, that is a tailing seconds, I don't need that. So to get rid of that, I will select custom in the in the category column of this dialog. And from there, I will remove the tailing seconds. And I can see in the sample that it, it is showing me 38 hours, 20 minutes. If you take a close look, we have the edge and closed in the angular brackets. This is capable of handling more than 24 hours of time. Alright, now let's click on OK. We have our total time spent between 
these states. Now if I just simply drag this down, I have all the calculations done. I request you to practice as much as you can. Use these sheets that is do it same day times and do it different day times and practice. The more you practice the more you will retain. In the next episode I will demonstrate on how to calculate the quarters from any given date. Do not miss that video. Thank you so much and have a very lovely day ahead.